It makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> So we drive on from there then, guys, because the Gardaí have uh, seized €140,000 worth of cocaine in Cork, but not before having the guy um, crash into him. <laughs> so this is a case in uh, Glanmire, Cork, again, where the Gardaí coming off of the M8 uh, intercepted uh, after intelligence-led operation. This is actually a part of Operation Terra as well. So there's some snitches out there snitching on the deliveries of drugs going on but the boys knew what was going on here they targeted the car but your man tried to take off from him and while he was taking off he started chucking the coke out the window of the car and he crashed into the cops then as well during the the chase and it wasn't until he crashed into him that they catch him and um, very lucky here that the cops escaped uninjured uh, nobody was injured in the crash but a uh, very lucky uh, escape for them and we could be reporting on loss of life here, whether it be from the cops or whether it be from the uh, the the man in his thirties trying to flee him. Um, but look, luckily enough, it, it, they did get out of this on skid. What what a waste of fucking time! Like you know, imagine if you were down there on the lower road you now, you know, down on the Glamoyer Road, and um, you were coming the opposite way to this car, and and this fool who crashed into the car guards actually crashed into you. For what, 140 grand worth of coke? Hang on a second, go back there a second ago. Look at this. Like, the cops think that they're doing good by targeting 140 grand's worth of coke, but, like, there, there's millions upon millions coming in. Like, And imagine if an innocent person, and another, another bystander using the, the road, lost their life as a result of this needless uh, chase on, on this failed war in drugs that we wage in the streets of Ireland. Um, that's just one life too many should it ever have happened. Um, John, there's many ways in which we could be preventing deaths here, reducing the risks for society, um, rather than having our cops go out there, you know, the, the boys, like, you know, thinking that they're, they're great going out with their guns and their armor and all of this stuff, like, you know, what, what are we doing, like, the, the only way we're going to change is decriminalization, regulation and education, this, the, the only approach our government needs towards drugs, this prohibition of drugs, it's not working at all. Um, so again, €140,000 worth of coke seized as part of the Operation Terra. Um, this was at 11.25 on Monday night down in Glanmire in Cork City. Um, and it was just after the Gardaí intercepted a vehicle coming off of the M8. And uh, a pursuit uh, it took place then afterwards. Um, and after the car crashed then the man in his 30s was arrested, detained under Section 2 of the Criminal Justice Traffic Trafficking Act. And... Uh, the discarded plastic bag, which was retrieved afterwards, and uh, we've another picture of it there. Um, so this was the bag that was chucked out the window, and uh, or, or these were the bags actually that were chucked out the window. So a couple of different wraps there, with one hundred and forty thousand euro worth of cocaine in total. Like the fact that you can fit all of that cocaine into one bag and it's worth one hundred and forty thousand euro, that tells you how much of a failure a prohibition is because that's a lot of money to be made off of a small volume of product. So again, why why wouldn't you be foolish enough to think that you get away with selling it and hiding it and and uh, do you know? Because these guys probably wore for ages. Maybe this individual just pissed off somebody higher up than them, and they're like, you know what? I'm going to throw you to the sharks today. There's a cop down there and he's going to let me get this shipment pass and I need to throw him a, 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 a sacrificial lamb so that he sacrifices 140,000 worth of coke. But meanwhile, the car coming behind that had fucking 14 million worth of cocaine in it, you know? Small price to pay for, for the business that it is drug dealing, you know? Think about it, like, again, like, I'd be watching Narcos. You see how these guys operate, like, you know, uh, bribing people, um, and again, the, these kind of things, you could put that in the same thing as a bribe. Well, you have to pay off the cops, but you also have to throw them a, a, a few bones every now and again, such as, you know, the old sacrificial lamb. So again, just, just, just throwing it out there hypothetically. This could be a situation where dirty cops are working with these organized crime gangs and this dude was a sacrificial lamb um, just being thrown there so that the cops can have their day in front of the cameras, you know, to say, hey, look at us, we're doing something. The Operation Terror, that's a success, you know. And yeah, it does, does look tiny in fairness. But again, you know, decriminalization, regulation, it's the only way we're going to stop this start to carry on. Oh, it makes me want to have a bowl. <laughs> <laughs>